Airgrid is responsible for managing the transmission system in Ireland, the power grid, for moving power from the generators to demand where it's needed and controlling that power system on a minute by minute, hour by hour basis. The NCC is the national control centre and from this, this is effectively the nerve centre or the cockpit of the energy industry. And from here we control the output of all of the individual generators. We manage the transmission system, uh, the state of it, looking at power lines, the, the flows on those lines and ensuring that it's all safe and secure. The NCC has evolved over the last number of years. The underlying computer systems that we use have changed providing us with, with more control, with more facilities uh, to manage the power system more safely and securely. In the control centre, some 40,000 data points are fed into here every two seconds. We use this information to decide on the condition of the system and then respond to any events that should happen on the system. These may be in response to a lightning strike on a transmission line, the tripping of a generator, or unexpected increase or reduction in system demand. Busiest times today here in the control centre tend to be around the times when the load is changing most rapidly and that tends to be in the morning load rise between 6 o'clock in the morning and maybe 9 o'clock and then again particularly in winter time between maybe 4 o'clock and 6 o'clock in the evening as customer demand uh, increases quite rapidly and we are trying to keep pace with it. Not, we try to bring up the generation not too quickly and not too slowly so that it is at all the time balanced. Uh, well, the peak demand for electricity can happen in one of two windows. It's either at the start of this, start of mid December, or early January. Generally, very highly correlated with the weather conditions in Ireland. Uh, what the peak demand won't necessarily happen over the Christmas period, which a lot of people think it will, uh, because a lot of industry and so forth has closed down. Um, we will see if we haven't basically got a system peak by the 22nd of December. It won't be happening until after the 6th of January. Um, in the last number of years we've had a number of severe winters which have led to unexpectedly high demand uh, periods and uh, what we've had to do is manage uh, the situation there where a number of bring on extra power plant to meet those unexpectedly high demands. At all times uh, we had sufficient plant on the system but there, it was uh, a little bit more difficult to manage than a normal week. The, the speed at which uh, generation can be deployed onto the system depends really on the type of technology that it is. Some particular types of technology can take up to 12 hours to start and others can be on into the system in 90 seconds. So it depends if you're using uh, hydro uh, plant, it can be on quite quickly. Open cycle gas turbines, gas turbines can be on uh, relatively quickly and then the coal, oil and gas fired plant might take a little bit longer. The fuel mix has changed dramatically over the last number of years. The primary driver for that is the move towards increased sustainability and the increased use of renewable energy on the system. So we've seen the amount of wind on the system grow dramatically over the last number of years. And if we look out towards 2020 and beyond, we see that continuing in terms of the amount of renewable energy on the system and the need to manage the renewable energy itself, but also the remaining plant portfolio to ensure that the two act in a complementary manner, ensuring security of supply. The key renewable energy target is the 2020 target, to have 40% of our electricity coming from renewable sources by 2020. In the case of Ireland, that will be primarily delivered by wind power. Here in the National Control Centre, we're probably one of the leading uh, control centres in terms of integration of renewable generation. Uh, we have on many occasions had 50% of our system demand coming from uh, wind and other renewable sources. This would imply that one in every two houses uh, in Ireland has, has been supplied by renewable generation. I think with the very high levels of wind that we're seeing on the system, we need to have a very flexible power system in order to be able to respond to the variability in that wind resource. So for the rest of the conventional portfolio, we need to be able to call on them to respond quickly so that when the wind isn't blowing, these other generators can ramp up. The other issue is that with a large amount of non-synchronous uh, wind generation, you need other unique products on the system such as inertia in order to ensure that the system remains stable. As we go forward towards 2020 and we increase the levels of wind and non-synchronous generation on the system, this will become increasingly more important to ensure that we can have this flexibility and manage it effectively.